Well, hello, this is the final boss, and this is Shogun Showdown, an awesome game I've played before. It was my favorite game that I played last year for like 2020 something. I don't remember. What was last? 2022? 2023? I don't know. Uh, and then, um, yeah, the developer sent it over, and I do love reviewing games since I feel like, as someone who's making games, it's always important to review games and develop what you think is working and, and not. Whereas with writing, it's also important if you're a writer to edit. So we're going to start a fresh and new run. Welcome, brave soul. Turn around. Next. Attack queue. So they have a little tutorial now. That's cool. Attacking. Can toggle the info mode by clicking the bleep bloop. I think I'll want info mode on. Strike down these practice dummies. Combat is turn-based. Performing one of the following actions triggers a turn. Moving, adding a tile to the queue, and attacking. Defeat the enemy. You can freely rearrange the titles in the tech queue. All right, you can freely remove tiles from the attack queue. Huh. You can skip a turn by waiting, press S. All right, strike them down. That's what I'm talking about. Cooldown. After using a tile to attack, it will take some turns to recharge before it can be used again. Defeat them. I could like switch places with them at one point. Yeah, moving toward you can swap positions anyway by moving towards it when facing it. Swap has a four turn cooldown. Yeah, I thought so. Move into them. Yeah, okay. You completed your training. Good luck. Thank you. Let's go destroy some monsters or whatever. Quests. Bamboo hero. Okay. Shop. 
Grappling hook's pretty good, but I don't have any skulls. I have no skulls and 10 gold. The Wanderer. I gotta go with anything. One of the characters in my novel is called The Wanderer. And he's a very important character, so... Anything called a Wanderer, I'm in. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Oof. Should not have taken damage on that one, but uh, we try our best. Shiruken, strike the first target. Shatter dash. Dash forward to target, stopping the first enemy cell. No effect if no enemy empty cell. Yeah. Remember, this one was pretty good, if I remember correctly. I forgot he goes backwards. Oh man, I screwed up bad. That was bad. This is not looking good, friends. I'm making some uh, critical errors. Oh, that was good. Dude, I keep forgetting about that guy going both directions. I cannot. Yeah, I definitely need some recharge tiles and special move cooldown. Okay. Many Christmas. That was not ideal. Um, I'll upgrade that. Sure. Arrows are very good. <laughs> Prune trees grow taller. These are facts. Dang it, dude. Guess I couldn't go behind him. What's this do? It's not good. Uh, 
Oh man, the the blood thing is new. <laughs> I think I would have remembered that being so like epic. No, oh, mine is too cool down. Mm, I don't love. I mean, Shadow, Shadow Dash can be really good though. So I'm gonna go ahead and buff that a little bit. Location cleared. HP two out of ten. Oh my god, dang! Damage upgrade, enchant upgrade, and guarding shop. Uh, we'll do that. I don't know what all this means, but we're gonna find out. Perfect strike cooldown. Oh my goodness, what a sweetheart. Um. Shop upgrade shield retention. Shields persist across fights. That seems good. Shop upgrade. Oh, there we go. Guarding shop. Oh, I have a skull. Okay. Uh, perfect strike. Plus one cooldown. Re recharge tile cooldown if the attack exactly depletes the target's remaining HP. Interesting. Ex interesting. Exactly repeats. Thanks, Swirl. Oh, I don't have enough money. Okay, so off we go. We're back to the races here. Whispering Caves, man. Such a great vibes with this game. They did such a good job. I think it still is great. I'm dead. Oh, so sad. The Wanderer was slain by a Yarrow Master. No! It's harder. I feel like when I first played the demo, I just like plowed through it. So maybe I'm just suck at life. But I remember Grappling Hook is super good. I want Grappling Hook. Karma. Oh, there's some, a bunch of new stuff, huh? Curse. Unlock Tile. Man, oh man, oh man, look at all this stuff. I love it. Oh, how do I exit though? I know. Huh. Okay. X. How do escape? Oh, I have to just move. <laughs> God. Ah, I'm a little dumb. Can swap position enemy in front of her by moving forward. Alright. Bamboo Grove. Let's go. left click does do on grappling hook grappling hook so good so I'm the best friends Ah, uh, darn it. Gosh darn. Oh, darn. I don't know if that lasts after the combat. I'm kind of curious about that, honestly.
All right, that was a good one. That was a good one. You know, I should get my bow. My bow is pretty good. Hard to not want the bow work. Oh, wow, I'm already fighting the boss. Praise the Shogun, I guess. Man. I would love, like, I mean, I think from, like, a creative perspective, I always wonder about... Oh my Gandhi, that guy hurts. She made Christmas. Two skulls! Two skeletons! That's great. Alright. Grappling hook. Mine is too cool now. Let's see. Um... I feel like swirl is really good, too. Just being able to spam swirl, I feel like, could be helpful. Man, I don't know what about this game, but, like, the, the, the core mechanic just feels so good. Um, but I do think that there could be like, like Hades, there could be a lot of story. There could be a lot more to it. Um, damage upgrade, warring shop. I don't know what these really entail, but we're going to find out. Oh, he tossed me a potion. Appreciate you. Uh, plus one damage. Sure. All right. Unfriendly fire. Right. Oh, so I see. So different types of mindfulness. When you perform a weight action, extra cool. Oh, that's neat. Uh, I think I might sell this, get mindfulness, and then use this on myself. And I'm going to go on ahead. Man, I'm impressed. There's a lot of polish and finesse in this one. Lots of polish, lots of finesse. Just killed your friend, bruh. Alright. Is it boss battle time yet? Shiruken, Swirl. I already have Swirl. I kind of like... I want some more range. I like my range. My quick attacks are pretty nice.
Oh, I did it wrong. Darn. Darn. Oh, I got smoked on that one, dude. Oh my gosh. Shockwave. Upon hit, if other enemies are in adjacent cells, a shockwave spreads. Oh. I think I kind of am down for arrow to have a shockwave. Oh no, not the time I needed to. Uh... I impale for the shogun. Well, what the heck? How did he hit me from over there? Oh, darn, I did the wrong order. <laughs> I'm so dumb. No, I pressed the wrong button. No! <laughs> Such a noob! I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. That was on me. Oh, man. I Shame on me, man. Dragon Punch. Oh, that was embarrassing. That was embarrassing for me. Let's go. That was embarrassing. That was pretty embarrassing, I gotta say. I'm trying to do all these combos and stuff, and then just embarrassing myself. Oh, darn. Obliterated. Okay, strike the cell directly ahead, pushing the target as far back as possible. Deal collision. Sure, we'll try that. Darn it. Dragon Punch pretty good.
Interesting. What does this do? Cool. Recharge tiles and special move cooldown. Okay. So I actually probably need to use that more often. Press 2 cooldown. Mm. I think that's pretty good. Oh wait, I increased the cooldown, but what did I what did I do to it? What did I do now? Damage in the turn duration three turns. Okay. Oh man, I screwed up. Did that in the wrong order then. That was a little dicey. That was a little dicey. I think I need to put a cooldown on my Dragon Punch, friend. <laughs> I like the, the system they have there, though. That's cool. Okay, so damage upgrade and combo shop. I think I did the weapon upgrade earlier. Uh, I like my swirl hitting hard. Combo shop upgraded. What does this do? Combo recharge. Ooh, two two cents for that i will indeed take that um combo tiles performing a combo skill have their cooldown recharged by four interesting i think i'm gonna upgrade this i don't care as much quite as much about my combos all right to the whispering caves Good there. Interesting. I got a swirl. I do like charge. Charge is helpful. Mobility is good in this game. All right. I could get him with that, but oh, interesting. Whoops.
snipered. Kinda effed up a little bit there. That wasn't his nice shockwave. Put upon hit if other enemies are in adjacent cells. Alright, so I want this for my dash or my arrow. I might do it on my arrow. That's pretty cool. Vlad the Impalier. Only one was ever fast enough to pass me. So that does two in front of him, okay. Shockwave plus one. <laughs> we already got one of those. Uh, I think we're going to do Sharsh. Enchant upgrade. Damage upgrade dancer shop. Enchant upgrade. Damage upgrade and dancer. I got to see what the dancer shop is, right? Um, graceful gifts for you. Oh, thanks for the, the, the edemame. Special move swap inflicts one damage. Oh, I like that. Yeah. It's pretty good. Me as well. I need all the edemame I can get a mame. It's, I know. I know I should have had a career in comedy. I know. Ooh, I like this. Moonlit Port. That's a great, great scene. Little lucky, <laughs> I almost got in some trouble there. Might as well cool down. Uh, I like my shockwave arrow a lot, so I'm gonna be able to use that a little bit more often. Moonlit port two. Who's this guy? Who invited him.
Ah, I shouldn't have wasted it. <laughs> I messed that up, but I uh, close enough. Close enough. One upgrade slot. Uh, the arrow has been pretty handy dandy, so we'll give it a little, little bit of love. Moonlit three. Let's go ahead and use some of my. A little dicey, but we got there. A little dicey. Shockwave. Upon hit of other enemies or adjacent cells, deals spread damage. I guess we gotta do squirrel at this point. Sure. Oh, it's got some fancy colors now. I guess everything has shockwave. I'm a shockwave build. Emperor's end. Our start. Uh, that sounds like treason, friends. I mean, don't want to be a stickler about this, but...
Jiminy Christmas survived. Yeah, I didn't get a win on that one. I got a survived on that one. I'll do the grapple hook. That's pretty good. Ah, uh, it's you. Take this. Okay, two-way move allows executing your special move in both directions. Oh. I'm guessing that means I can go backwards with it, which is, seems really handy. Um, Moonlit Port Shop upgraded. I mean, mine is too cool down. Yes, please. Yes, please. I think this is the one I really want to be able to get going on quickly. Mobility. Mobility, mobility. Mobility, buddy. All right, all right. Is there a choice here? Okay. Surprised it didn't just rock me forward. Spirit Gateway. And the art's great, as always. Let's just go ahead and... Jeez. Kind of messed that up, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Minus two cooldown. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. I really like Dragon Punch. Yeah. I like the Dragon Punch, man. Call me crazy. That stinks.
Interesting. Didn't realize there was going to be more waves. <laughs> I guess I need to drink a potion. Yeah, let's go. That was cleaner. Oh man, I messed up bad. I messed up real bad. Oh no, oh no, oh no. one cooldown. I may as well throw my arrow in there. My my arrow's good. It just never comes up. <laughs> Spirit Gateway 3! There's more? anyways it's been a while wow much sadness ensues all right cool well what are my thoughts um obviously fantastic work on the game armor unlocked oh unlocked okay All right, yeah, what are my thoughts? I mean, obviously the art is beautiful. The um, game style is really fun and engaging. And I think that, you know, it seems like it's been really fine-tuned from the last time I played it. I remember, you know, I was able to just clear it first time, first try. And, and now, you know, I'm getting sent back to base a few times, um, which is awesome. Um, and so that's really fun, uh, cool mechanic i i like that you kind of have some good communication and a tutorial in the beginning um yeah my only thing is is like you know it, it seems very narrative light right like and i think to some degree that's fine right you either you know have a great narrative or just don't bother with it right uh, and i think that's a very reasonable approach i feel like you know there's a lot of things referenced in here like oh the shogun the shogun uh, and so in that respect i wonder you know hey like you know what's the uh um you know what's the significance of the shogun what's the, what's going on you know and you have all these archive items um which are great but again like you see games like risk of rain doing a really great job using stuff like this to add um to add a little bit of extra um like depth and narrative so those are my two cents. I think, honestly, this is a great, solid little game. I think um, I would wonder, you know, again, I, I feel like the roguelike, roguelike formula has been used so much. What would a game like this be with this mechanic structure in an RPG and something that has a, a you know, longer playability than kind of that core loop? I always wonder, you know, that's, I mean, that's one of the reasons I'm building a card game in an RPG, even though most card games now are roguelike. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if, you know, that's a bad intuition on my part or not. But anyways, thank you so much for sharing the game with me, and have a great night.